recently, it has been, you know, a news ongoing all over the world that Nigerians and Nigeria don't have a president. And as the day goes by, events keep unfolding itself, you know, showing clearly that there is no president in Asorok. And if I am to say my own opinion, before we get into this news, guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your sister, Chioma. Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening to you all, depending on your time zone. Mine is good morning, so take your greetings according to your time zone. Thank you for all of you who has been coming back to watch my video, to comment, to like, and to share. I say God bless you all. God bless you massively. And please, if you are just coming across this channel and the video at the same time, with, at the very first time, Please help your sister to grow this channel together by clicking on that red subscription button. And as soon as you click on that subscribe, the bell button will pop up. Click on all and you will be notified anytime we publish a new video. God bless you massively. Let's get to the news in details. All has been happening in Nigeria. Is so clear, is so glaring that Nigeria, a flag, don't have president, and this is the only country I hear that calls their president presidency. When you look at the dictionary definition of presidency, it means a group of people, more than one person, ruling. So when you have more than one person ruling, and in Nigeria, our own system of government, you vote for one person. And in the case, president is not, that president they voted is not available. The vice will take over the, the, the seats. But in this case, it looks as if there is no president. It looks as if there is no vice. And it looks as if it is a group of people that came together and agreed that they will pilot the affair of the country. And that is exactly what is happening in that country. And when you hear Mazen and Dikalo call it a zoo, some people come up to call it a jungle, that a zoo is better than the country. They said it's a jungle. And a lot of these names pile up there calling Nigeria. Personally, if you can ask me my own opinion, I will tell you, it deserves it. it. It even deserves more name than that. A lot is really happening. A country that don't value its citizen, a country that don't value their soldier, they will send forth their soldier in front in the war front and still leak the secret and they will be ambushed and be killed. A country that will be using aircraft to drop ammunition for bandits, Beku Haram. A country that will compensate the terrorists. A country that will pamper bandits, pant them at the back and say, well done, job well done. A country that negotiates with criminals. You want to tell me it's a country? No. Jungle is, even more, is much more better than the country. So when you hear people call this country a lot of name, please don't be offended. Don't be angry. They've seen a lot that made, that made them to call the, the country a zoo or a jungle. Nigeria is worse than zoo and jungle. There is no security of life. No security of property. Nothing was so good in that country. So why is it the country talk more of a republic? It is a business center set up by a colonial masters. Why am I saying all these things? This is a breaking news. You may have come across the video on the internet trending. Dilo Melaye have come out to say that there is no president in the Asorok. 
very soon you, you 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 will watch the video with me right away you hear him say it that there is no president in that country piloting the affairs of the country and people think they can do anything and go scot free people think they can do anything guys a lot is happening it was Mazin and the color that has been shouting for a long time that there is no president in the Asorok. And they said, bring, bring him to kill him. That was why they, they went to his house. He was preparing to appear in court. And they went to his house and killed 28 people plus. And as a result of the trauma and shock, the father and the mother sustained. They died. February, just pa the, the, the last February that just passed, it's just one year. The father and the mother was buried. A jungle continue. There is no peace in that country. The sixth geopolitical zone, there is no peace. And you think that there is somebody ahead, responsible, ruling that country. No. You heard it from Mazen Amdekano, the last broadcast he presented. The president of America, Joe Biden, the newly elected president, had a meeting with African head of states. Buhari was nowhere to be found there. And you, 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 I mean you listening to me now that think Buhari is alive. Buhari didn't go for meeting of head of states. Nobody saw him there. And you want to tell me that Buhari is alive. <laughs> You need to think twice. You that they are deceiving with so many promises. Buari is alive. And it's only Gaba Shehu and Femi Adeshina will come out to make a statement on his behalf. And every day they will come up and say the president says this. President he said that. President he said this. President he said that. The president, don't he have math again? For the past four, getting to four to five years now, the president don't come out to speak. Is it that the president no longer have mouth? That his aide will now be the one speaking on his behalf, to the extent that Gaba Shehu said, "Any whatever and any time you hear me speak, consider it that the president has spoken to you." Did we vote Gaba Shehu? Did we vote Femi Adeshina? We never voted for them. They never aspire for any president office. And today, they are the ones speaking on behalf of the president. Where is your president, so-called Nigerians, that have been deceived with one Nigeria? Where is your president? Dino Melaya has nailed it all. He has said it all. And our evil politicians, they are still there. They don't want to speak out. Since ever I know him, irrespective of the fact that they are the same he is the same with them. They know me I mean. But he's always coming out to speak it as the way it is. He always come out to say the truth. He always stand and wants people to hear his voice loud. That this is his position. That was why they removed him from the Senate. Because he was disturbing them. He don't allow their evil. He don't allow their rubber stamp. Uh, 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 what do they call it? Senate president, these things are the reason why they remove him. Look at, he has come out to say, Nigerians, you don't have president. If you can decode, listen to Dino Melai, hear what he said. You come to the comment section, let us deliberate on the matter again. Come tell me what is your own opinion. As you've had my own opinion, I'm signing off from the screen. Meet you there at the comment section. And for now, we say bye. The president is no longer with us. We are the president with us. We cannot be suffering perilous times like we are suffering now. We cannot be in the situation we are in this country. Banditry, pervasive hunger, Insecurity, terrorism, 
kidnapping, every facet of our national life is in danger. The country is on the edge. We are about to explode. Definitely the president is not with us. And it is so sad that he is not available, he is not with us, and he is yet to join our ancestors. The president is in transition. And anyone who is in transition cannot effectively do anything. And that is why there is no coordination in governance. That is why everyone is doing what he or she likes. That is why nobody is in charge of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is why we are in a state of higgledy piggledy, total confusion, darkness everywhere. Definitely the president is not with us. The president is not with us. That is why the economy is in shambles. The president is not with us. That is why there is no coordination in governance and the administration of same in Nigeria. The president is not with us. God help the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you.